My name is Andreas Franke. I'm head of the Department of Cardiology and Internal Intensive Care in the Clinicum Siloa in Hanover, Germany. The title of this talk is One Probe Solution for 2D and 3D Echo, which make up clinical benefits and uh, workflow improvements during routine 3D echocardiography. Today, 3D echo has its limitations because of the difficult 3D acquisition. Normally, we have a kind of black box full volume acquisition. We cannot acquire single beat data sets and the time resolution is poor. Moreover, stress echo protocols are still missing. That's why 3D data quality is still sub suboptimal and the handling of 3D data must be improved. So our wish list for transthoracic 3D probes is shown here with a high image quality like high-end 2D probes, a similar size like 2D, all standard modalities possible and, of course, matrix technology for 3D capability. Indeed, there is already a similar solution existing, the live 3D TEE probe. Now that's what we need for transthoracic echo also, a kind of all-round matrix probe. The comparison of conventional high-end 2D transducers, such as the S51, see it on the left panel, and the X51 on the right panel in the same patient demonstrates an equal image quality even in difficult to scan patients. The comparison of PW and CW Doppler curves again shows equal quality. Matrix probes now can be used in routine scanning without loss of quality. Again, see the C, uh, S51 to the left and the X51 to the right with PW and then with CW Doppler. Moreover, 2D image quality of the miniaturized X51 is not only comparable to conventional 2D transducers, but even significantly better than the former large X31 matrix probe as seen here in this example. To the left, S51, to the right, X31, and down below, the X51. X matrix transducers are able to steer the ultrasound beam literally in any direction. As a real result of this, once acoustic window has been found, there is no need to rotate the transducer manually from four chamber view, for example, to obtain a two chamber view or an apical long axis as shown in this animation. I rotate streamlines the workflow. You just have to find an echo window and then change your image orientation. When implemented in stress echo protocol, this modality allows a much easier acquisition. The so-called X-plane mode is displaying two 2D planes simultaneously with an excellent 2D image quality. This can also be combined with color flow as shown on this slide. Having two planes with color flow allows to reveal mitral valve anatomy and function better. The improvement of image quality using X51 versus X31 of course is also leading to a better and more reliable 3D full volume dataset. Latest modification of acquisition software also allows an easier online orientation about the resulting 3D data quality. For example, in stitched datasets as shown here. Another clinically important feature is the improved time resolution due to software changes. Now, volume rates about 40 Hz are easy to achieve with 3D zoom data, as demonstrated here in two examples of 3D TEE images of a mitral valve. Earlier 3D acquisition software solutions allowed only a time resolution between 12 and 18 Hz. The improvements in time resolution are shown in this schematic drawing compared with the, for the three acquisition modalities, live 3D to the left, 3D zoom in the middle, and full volume dataset to the right. There are several ways to qualitatively analyze 3D datasets of the left ventricle with regard to regional wall motion abnormalities. I-slice technique creates a set of parallel short axis slices which can be shown as a 2x2, two 3x3 two, three three, or 4x4 four four set of panels. Synchronous side-by-side -side viewing allows a systematic analysis of regional wall motion abnormalities. With a time resolution of about 40 Hz, as shown here, 
wall motion can be analyzed good enough even during maximum stress with high heart rate, as you can see in the right panel. The implementation of 3D technique into a routine echo workflow until recently required the change of the transducer between 2D and 3D probe four times and a change of image planes eight times for a complete set of images. Using the newly developed X51 matrix array transducer, no change of transducer is necessary anymore and only three echo windows like image planes have to be found. In summary, the high 2D image quality of matrix array transducers has the benefit to just be able to use one probe. We have to deal with a significantly smaller probe, so much more patients can be scanned easier. The techniques of iRotate and X-Plane lead to an improved wall motion analysis and to a better valve assessment. We clearly have a higher time resolution, which improves the analysis of valves and we have an improved 3D acquisition and 3D image quality, which makes automatic analysis easier. And finally, the comparison of serially acquired datasets, like for 3D stress echo,